up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Every year we talk about the dopest plugins for After Effects because let's face it, using After Effects and plugins is pretty much a requirement nowadays when doing anything with motion design or VFX. And out of all the plugins that we've ever talked about, one that we tend to recommend to beginners and pros alike is AJuice's I Want It All bundle because it has the best bang for buck with all sorts of assets and templates and plugins. And yeah, this is a really nice complete package. Well, this year they partnered with Trying Digital, AKA Film, Riot. Yeah, you guys have probably heard of them from their super awesome tutorials. And I've been super excited to show you some of the awesome stuff that comes in their exclusive packs, specifically today because their Black Friday sale is going on. And depending on whenever you're watching this, I highly recommend you check it out because it's going to be a massive discount, probably even better bang for buck. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. never heard of AJuice's I Want It All bundle before. It's a combination of plugins, templates, and assets that cover a wide gamut of projects that you will probably find yourself doing in After Effects. The reason I find it so dope is because it has this built-in manager that also works with the drag and drop feature. Honestly, when it first came out and I tried out AJuice's I Want It All bundle, I immediately knew it was going to be a game changer for motion designers because it made some of the projects I was working on for hours take only a couple minutes, which is just freaking mind blowing and every single year they have just been adding on more plugins more templates and just improving on the entire package which I find to be one of the best reasons to check this out now don't get me wrong free plugins are always dope I love FX console it's free and functional but when you start getting into using After Effects in a more professional sense or if you even want to start doing at least some more ambitious projects on your own then I highly recommend looking into a more complete package and I think a juices bundles tend to be a really great investment anyway Anyways, let's hop into some of my favorite features so you can see whether or not this is something that's going to help you in your projects or maybe this is something that you can completely write off. Okay, here we are in After Effects and I have this clip of this guy who finds way too much enjoyment in turning these knobs on his radio. And I think this clip is going to be a perfect example to showcase one of my favorite packs that's in the A Juice I Want It All bundle, which is Liquid Elements. So in order to use the pack, all I have to do is click on it and instantly I get this brand new window with all of these previews. It's really useful that these previews are live so that I can see the way that they're animated and quickly browsing through it, I can pick whichever one I want and apply it to the scene just by dragging and dropping like so. Once an asset is imported, I can easily just click and drag it around and position it wherever I want. So if I want to accentuate this knob turn and his head tilting back, I can put the animation over the action here in the timeline and where it is. And instantly we have something that looks a little bit more dynamic. Now, as we keep layering this up, we can start to add a little bit more. And I think it really helps for something like a music video or something like a dance video. Next up, I wanna show you this really cool pack called Old Film Constructor. What it lets you do is take your footage that could have been shot on a DSLR or your phone and instantly make it look as though it was taken on an old school film camera. Now this differs from some of the other effects that are built into After Effects. So as I go into this, you can see every single layer is broken down by the dust and scratches, the film assets, the burns, the frames, the grains, the looks, transitions. And so you can really layer this up so it doesn't look like it was taken today and instead looks as though it's coming out of some old 1960s war movie. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a 4x3 frame and we can see that adds that nice letterboxing to the footage. Next thing I want to do is grab in one of these perforations here and drop it on top. I like this one where it has the four corners perforated and then I can go down and even apply something like a film look to this so maybe we want this to look as though it is black and white rather than in color and this only took us about three clicks. Here we have this macro shot of a watch, which I think is gonna be super useful to showcase a really unique effect that comes in the A Juice Pack Prism. Now, these differ from light leaks in which sometimes you just see a nice little overlay on top of an image, but I want you to really pay attention to what happens when I drag and drop in one of these effects because it's doing so much more than just applying an overlay on top of an image. As you can see instantly, we all of a sudden get these distortions as well, almost as if the image is being refracted onto to the lens and if we hit play that refraction is also animated this looks super cool and you can see another footage that we have this is a really easy way to add a dreamlike quality to this shot of this vintage watch 
Now, of course, there is so much more that you can add to this. So let's say we have this shot. We want to have in some lightning effects. We can go ahead and just drag and drop it into our scene to make it look as though maybe they're opening up a portal to a new dimension. Now, I'm purposefully leaving out some of the more complicated steps of compositing in this footage, like adding in your own distortions or maybe really tweaking some of the colors and color correction to your liking, because I really want to showcase how quickly you can take your regular footage and transform it using some of these assets without spending too much time on it. You can also add in all sorts of really awesome motion graphics. So one thing I would recommend is if you guys do use Premiere Pro is that you can make use of the essential graphics panel inside of Premiere Pro. That way you can make those quick edits to things like titles super easily without having to render out the whole scene and without having to go into a bunch of nested pre-comps. I was able to make this scene using Premiere Pro in a matter of seconds and it was such a seamless process and it's pretty cool to see that all the camera work, 3D movements, color correction, and distortion effects to make it look as though it's on a monitor has been applied perfectly. Kudos to AE Juice for coming out with such a dope plugin. This year we recommend the AE Juice I Want It All bundle, but if you guys are focused more on VFX, I would highly recommend that you check out the Mega Bundle, which is going to include those packs from Trion Digital as well. Anyways, those are just some of the features that I love so far, but it would take me hours upon hours to dive into every single thing, so make sure you guys go ahead and take a look at that description box down below so you can go ahead and view it yourself, see all of the stuff that comes with this, and determine whether or not you think this is also the best bang for buck for After Effects right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.